Hello and welcome to Richard and RFPD Tech Chat. My name is Simon Tompkins. I'm a senior field application engineer at Richards and RFPD. I'm here today with Guy Moxie, who's senior marketing director at Wolfspeed, and we will be discussing paralleling discrete SICK MOSFETs. Guy, thank you very much for joining us today. Hey Simon, my pleasure as always. Uh, with the increase in availability of wide band gap semiconductor in particular SICK from Wolfspeed, design engineers are now able to push the boundaries of increased efficiency and higher power densities. Traditionally, when it's not practical to use power modules, uh, parallel in silicon MOSFETs has been a common approach. Um, are there any special considerations when we're talking about parallel in SICK MOSFETs? Yeah, there's a couple of things that jump out and you're absolutely right. You know, it is a single discrete will take you to a few kilowatts and then you jump to the module space, which is 50 kilowatts and above typically. So there's that area where you want to parallel two, three, four MOSFETs possibly. Obviously, there's some guidelines about how many you can parallel, but typically you're going to see two devices in parallel. So yeah, there is some some things that jump out. And the first one is is the basic, the golden rule is keep a common gate driver, but have separate gate resistors. Don't have two separate gate drivers, one for each each device. One gate driver with plenty of source and sync capability and then have two separate RGs in line with each gate. Basic, basic principles pretty much what you would do in silicon so no really no real deviation from those same principles simon that's good that's clear thanks for that guy um i mean it's clear to see that a good uh, deal and care and attention is needed uh, with the gate resistors uh when you're paralleling up the sick devices um i expect at the highest switching frequencies that the layout of the pcb is also going to be critical um, could you maybe walk us through how uh, we can optimize the PCB layout? Yeah, absolutely. That's the second sort of thing that you have to think about. Um, you know, once you've got your gate drive and your RG sorted, your building blocks, then it's all about layout. And and you know, not dissimilar from from silicon approaches, you've got to make the uh, the balance and the symmetry and the parasitics. And realistically. You know, with the extra speed, that's why you're using silicon carbide, the, the higher D by DTs on the currents and the voltages that turn off those leading edges and falling edges add to the problems when you have parasitics. So really watch your parasitic inductance and capacitance loops, minimize them, and just show here a couple of examples of where you're putting down two devices in parallel that nice symmetrical layout from the, coming from the, uh, the gate drive coming out of the sources and a nice gate return path on the lower under levels to balance out the inductance. Nothing again that you haven't seen before when you're paralleling a couple of silicon MOSFETs together, but just the effects of those inductances and stray capacitances can be a little bit more acute. That's very interesting. Thanks for explaining that to us. Uh, you mentioned symmetry uh, in the layout. Have you got a couple of examples? Yeah, the, you know, you know, these are in our Gerber files on our, all of our demo boards and the evaluation kits. You can pull them out. And this just shows how you would do sort of a D2 pack seven lead or or if any surface mount type of device two in parallel on the nice symmetrical layout coming in and coming out. Or if you're using a TO247 through hole device, how you would do the footprint and the CAD designs from there. Please go to our websites because you can pull them straight off there, cut and paste. Thank you very much, Guy, for covering those important topics. My pleasure, absolutely. Uh, so for those on the call, you can learn more about this and other topics by going to our GAN and SICK uh, tech hubs. Um, you can follow uh, us by uh, asking an expert, following the link, submitting your question relative to any of the design challenges that you may have. Thank you for watching us today. Much appreciated.
Thanks. Cheers. Bye bye. Thanks, Guy.